Oh my goodness. What's going on YouTube? It's TikTok. And I'm only saying that because you might have forgot who the fuck I was. Because I've been gone for a minute. Now I posted my uh, my video from my trip to the beach. to Myrtle Beach uh, for Father's Day. Then shortly thereafter, it was a little issue with uh, the club that requires some of my attention. So I did post on social media that uh, I was going to be kind of MIA for a minute, for a week or two. I appreciate everybody's patience there. All the words of support. Um, as you can tell, the weather is kind of bleh right now. It ain't terrible. It's already rained once, but uh, I didn't get hit by it. I didn't wear my gloves because I was in a hurry. I'm just going to go get some gas. Go get some food real fast. And then uh, I'm not doing much of anything else this evening. Kind of kind of chillaxing. This past weekend, I put some miles on my bike. And um, went an overly long trip. Just a lot of riding. We, when we rode, we rode down from Augusta to uh, South Georgia only a few hundred miles but uh the heat index is around 118 degrees the whole fucking time i don't know how my camera angle is the little plastic clip on uh the gopros that holds it on to whatever mount you have uh that little clip that little push little thumb clip it uh broke so i had to get another one and in doing so i don't know if i messed up my angles or not so I will talk to you guys in a minute. I'm gonna go get some gas. And I'm back, folks. Just had to get some petrol. Ugh. Trying to decide. I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier. I'm not doing the uh, fitnessity thing like everybody else, but uh, I have started going back to the gym. I've been a total of like two times. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna get back into it. Uh, I had some issues. I had a uh, messed up my knee, and then I actually had a uh, testicular injury that uh, kind of inhibited me a bit. So yeah, there was a little issue with the club, and um, so I figured I'd go ahead and get out of there today. I was just gonna wait and do my vlog, but because um, it was supposed to rain, but weather's holding out. I'm hungry, so two birds one stone but yeah like i was saying my plastic clip from my gopro broke so i've got it eyeballed in about where i think it should be so if my ankle's off in this one i'll have it fixed by the next video because my um phone still won't sync up with my gopro so i can't check the angles on the fly i apologize folks but anyways given the uh nature of the issues with the club again I'll never get into club specifics but what I will go ahead and say is this I live in Georgia Georgia is uh, what they call black and white state if you don't know what that is I apologize you may want to google that shit they uh, the uh, law enforcement agencies that have caused us uh, a little bit of headaches try to tie us in with the Waco shooting I shit you not I have never met any of the people or any members of any of the clubs that were involved that day and I don't want to say the guys who were involved in the shooting because you know it's just it's just that some people were innocent and uh, just happened to be there happened to be bikers oh dude are you, are you serious right now? Oh, she dropped something. I'll check on her on my way back. I'm only going to get a sandwich right up the road here, so... I'll definitely check on her. She's still uh, stranded. I'll see if I can give her a hand. But, yeah. And it just, uh, you know, just... The amount of bullshit that we've been going through here lately as bikers and as uh, patch-wearing bikers, it's, it's especially been annoying and i am really hoping that you guys who do not have any kind of club affiliation simply just ride motorcycles don't have to go through the amount of shit that i just had to go through i pray
afraid that you never know that much bullshit. But I hope everybody's doing awesome. Um, I'm actually about to run in here to this gas station. Yeah, I, I was so low on gas, I wouldn't have made it over here, even though this is simply like a couple miles down the road. Um, I'm going to run in here and grab some, uh, some food, and I'll be back in just a second. It took uh, a little bit longer than I was expecting to get a sandwich. So it does see if that biker chick's still back here on the side of the road looking for whatever it was. She probably threw her stash away. I'm just kidding. Not all biker chicks are met out whores. I'm just kidding, yeah, they are. So anyways, persecution of those on two wheels. I pray it doesn't happen, but uh, everything offends somebody these days. Her up here, I guess she's uh, good to go, but yeah, everything offends somebody. A flag offends certain people, the fact that an establishment won't make a cake for some people, everybody's getting, um, uh, she's still looking for something. So, I don't know what the hell she's doing, but everybody's getting offended about. Something. And uh, there's an entire community that got offended by some bikers. What the fuck is that? Is that one of the slingshots? I'm a fucking bad as shit, dude. That was pretty cool. I don't know why you just wouldn't get a fucking motorcycle or a convertible, but getting a hybrid of both. Guaranteed to not impress too many people, except for maybe me, because those things look kind of cool. I just want to do donuts in it. But everybody's getting offended. Everybody's getting scared of this, that, and the other. Everybody's worried that there's an uprising. You know, the people. The people uprising against the government. Which, I wouldn't doubt it, man. The government's corrupt as fuck the people, and when I say the people, I ain't talking about the guys that make six or seven figures in a year. I'm talking about those folks of us who make, you know, less than a hundred grand a year, who struggle paycheck to paycheck to provide for their families. And yes, a hundred grand a year is, is good money in this area, and, but, you know, I don't make anywhere close to that. Fuck, I wish I did. You know, in Georgia, average call centers get around anywhere from like nine to eleven dollars. That's the average for an entry level call center position. <clears throat> the company I work for is not technically a call center, but it is. I mean, it's like it's it's got offices with you know basically you're taking technical calls all day. So I'll go ahead for the. The sake of it, go ahead and call it a call center. And I make, I make damn good money for this area. But Lord knows, I'm still broke. I'm still wearing fucking ragged out ass fucking clothes, and boots that are starting to talk on the side. A motorcycle that needs new exhaust, needs an engine overhaul, needs a new intake system. You know all that kind of stuff. people who, uh, who make you know less than I do and it's just uh, it's unfortunate because the more the harder you work to get a little bit of money the less the, the, the government gives a shit about you I mean you know yeah folks who don't work at all but purely why am I picking my damn handlebar apart anyways there's people who don't work at all who haven't worked I know people who have not worked in the past 15 years and still make enough money um, with being on government assistance that you know, their house has got a voucher their car they paid cash for it because they can save up so damn much money you know their groceries are paid for when you can walk into a grocery store and buy four or five hundred dollars worth of groceries and never work a day in your life I'm struggling to get $40 worth of damn food to last me the week. There's something wrong. 
wrong with that. But I'm really hoping that uh, the persecution of all people on two wheels is not coming. I love it. Those guys who had those Harley Davidson stickers. Hold on, let me over here. Got those Harley Davidson stickers on their back window. I don't even know if you can see that on that truck. There's so many people that have those stickers that don't have never even ridden a motorcycle. I don't know why they, they think that if they pop a Harley sticker on there, it automatically makes it cool. I used to know a guy who had a whole bunch of Fox racing shit on the back of his damn, uh, on the back of his truck. <laughs> Never raced a day in his life. But, well guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here, man. I hope everybody has a good evening. And I will catch you guys on the next video.